Hi guys, welcome back to Fishing in the UK. So today we're out of first light to do a little bit spinning for mackerel from the pier. So hopefully we'll pick a few fish up. This morning I'm going to be fishing two different methods for the mackerel. First on the big rod I'm going to be using a set of mackerel feathers with a four ounce plain lead. These are just size two holes. So we'll put these on the big rod and then on the spinning rod I'm just going to be using the usual spinners. So I'll get these set up, get cast out, see if we can catch some fish this morning. So first off I'm just going to pop the weight on there, that'll stop the feathers flapping about. Take them out of there, stick the rubbish in there, and then we'll get this tied on. There we go. Keep that for later. So I'm just tying this straight onto my braid because um, I'm only using a four ounce weight. The braid I've got on here is 50 pound, so it's strong enough for the weight. Just make sure it's nice and secure. I'm not going to be power casting or anything daft like that. We're just going to be doing a normal cast, getting a few on at a time, hopefully. There we go, there's that, nice and secure. And this is this set of feathers, this set of mackerel lures just has one, two, three, four hooks on. And then your weight's attached to the bottom there. So that's that one set up. There we go. And then we'll do the same. I've just got me a little Abu Garcia Tormentor spinning rod. This is eight foot. It's rated 20 to 60 grams. It comes in two sections. And on this rod, I've just got me a little Daiwa 3000 BG reel with me braid and me amnesia leader. So I'll get one of these little spinners tied on it and see what we can catch with that. Tide's still coming in, so I'm gonna try the spinner first. Um, when the water gets a little bit deeper, then I'll put the set of mackerel feathers on. So let's give our first cast of the morning a go. Whip that out. It's awkward when there's an offshore wind because it blows your line straight away along there. So first, I'm just going to do a straight retrieve. See if there's anything that takes it straight away. already a few people out on the pier. Right, now on the first one, that's good to get that out of the way. Have a shot this way now. Just gonna let that sink for a few seconds. So now I'm gonna have a shot with the feathers. I think if you're fishing for a mackerel to keep for bait, um, you can get more in one go with your feathers. And what you can with your spinner. Obviously it makes sense if you want to catch them really quickly for bait. Looks like it's going to be a lovely morning. 
features a little bit rough this morning. Like. So there we go, that's what we're coming for. That's the first one on the feathers this morning. I'll get this one dispatched, get it in the cooler bag, see if we can catch them all. Yes, but in again, so as you can see, the mackerel feathers are uh, quite effective at catching mackerel. So I get this one put in the cooler box, get some more, and see if we can fill the cooler box up. So that sun's starting to come up properly now, um, which means uh, we'll probably get a lot more mackerel, get this cooler bag filled up. Out the sand and jumping up there. Up oh, there we go. Oh, I missed it. Oh no, I haven't looked at it. Yep. There we go. There we go. There's another one. Yep. Yep. Another pretty decent sized one there. Excellent stuff. We'll get this one and hoop and we'll get in here. 
dispatched. So this is what it's just spat out. Tiny little sand deal. That's obviously what they're chasing. And that's what these are meant to mimic. And obviously it's around about the same size. That's why they go for them. Excellent stuff. There we go, there's another one. Get this one put in the air cooler bag as well. It's been a canny morning on the air, on the pier. We've had a canny few mackerel on the feathers. I've put them in my cooler bag, so when I get home I'll um, prepare them, might eat one or two, and then the rest will go in the freezer for bait. Um, I think I might fillet them, vacuum pack them. I normally like to keep the head in the guts if I'm gonna be using the shrimp pot or something like that. But other than that, it's been a pretty productive um, session on the pier this morning. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I'll see you soon.